You're listening to Tim Bulkley's 5-Minute Bible. Jonah, Part 2 Chapter 1, Verse 3, What's Going On? So, we've been introduced to Jonah, who's doubly a prophet. He is Jonah ben Emetai, the same one that we read about in Kings, a true prophet in the time of King Jeroboam of Israel. And his book is introduced with words that suggest a prophetic story. Vaihi Deva Hashem El Yonah Ben Amittai And the word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai. So this doubly prophetic Jonah, now in verse 2, receives the command of his God. Go at once to Nineveh, that great city, and cry out against it, for their wickedness has come up before me. A fairly straightforward command, and so will not tarry on verse 2. Verse 3. But Jonah set out to flee to Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. He went down to Joppa and found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid his fare and went on board, to go with them to Tarshish, away from the presence of the Lord. Now we have a problem. Jonah, the twice prophetic Jonah, has received his command from God and promptly disobeyed it. Jonah's response could hardly be more opposite to God's command. Back in verse 2, which I will return to in another post, don't worry. Back in verse 2, God commanded, Kum lek, get up and go. In verse 3 we read, Vayakom yona livoa tashisha. Jonah got up and set out for Tarshish. Not to go to Nineveh, but to set out for Tarshish. And just to make sure that you get the point that this is exactly the opposite of what God has commanded, verse 2 ended with Kialata ratam lifnai Their wickedness has come up into my presence as the reason why Jonah is to preach against Nineveh. Verse 3 ends Milifnei Hashem Away from the presence of the Lord Our problem couldn't be more stark we have a prophet whom we know, twice know, to be a true prophet. We know him to be a true prophet because we read about him in Kings, and we know him to be a true prophet because the introduction tells us that God's word came to him. And yet, no sooner has God's word come to him than we find him disobeying it totally and completely. What is going on? The book of Jonah isn't a whodunit. The book of Jonah is a why did he do it? Why is Jonah fleeing from the presence of the Lord? Why is Jonah not doing what he was told? And for the next two and a half chapters, we aren't told. So now we've got three genre for Jonah. It's evidently a narrative. It recounts a series of events and the connections between them. It's evidently a prophetic text. It begins, The word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai. And now we discover it's a what's he doing? A book with a question mark hanging over it. Ah well, if you want to find out more, listen to the next instalment. Bye for now.